Hello Viking Voices, welcome to a new bite-sized video where I give you teeny tiny bits of advice to help you manage your performing anxiety. So, my name is Wazo and in this video I am going to talk about how not being late, planning to get to a venue 30 minutes ahead of time will literally save your life in terms of stress. I'm sure some of us have, or if not all of us, have been guilty of this in the past and we know what it feels like when we are running late. Not only do we have this sense of dread, oh my goodness, I'm going to be late, but how am I going to explain this to the people I'm performing with? Um, you know, especially if it's not the first time, you just feel like such a disappointment, such a letdown, not only to yourself, but the people that you are performing with. Like if you're in a band or an orchestra or as part of a, a theater group, a play, musical, opera, like whatever kind of performance it is, or even if you're just doing a concert with your accompanist, or it's like, it is awful. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, like if you've ever run late, been running late for a flight and you've got to run to catch a flight at the airport and you're like so close to missing it, or you're on your way but you're stuck in heavy traffic and you think, oh my god, this is it. That is the stress we're talking about here. And every time, like, I think I'm going to be late, I just, I just kick myself for not planning more time into leaving earlier. So I used to work in theater as a stage manager. The amount of times I heard from actors why they were late to a rehearsal room, given because of circumstances outside of their control, as in i.e. public transport, because, you know, I lived in London and it was always about the tubes, the tubes, the tubes. Someone jumped on the track, someone tube, red line signal, whatever, God have you, everything happened in London. But still, that did not excuse them from being late. So the advice always given was leave with enough time so that you would still get to rehearsal on time if something happened outside your control like the trains, like the buses, any public transport. It is the same in any performing situation. You know, that is why with the actors, we always have the half hour call. We always have parish notes about an hour, an hour and a half before a show, We, depending how big the show is. It gives everybody time. It gives us time to check, is everybody here who is running late? And if the off chance they got locked in their house, I mean, this has happened, locked in their house, um, stuck underground, we can at least try and contact them, find out what's going on and, you know, take the appropriate steps. So, but relating back to stress, this is just going to help you chill out so much more. If you make 30 minutes early your new normal, even if you're always there 30 minutes too early for a gig, for rehearsal, whatever, Oh my God, then you have 30 minutes to just chill out. Your life will be transformed, I promise you. Just the stress, this, it's, it's, just, it's just not worth it. It is not worth it. So, whew, for those of us who've been culpable, I mean, yes, I have. It's a horrible feeling. You don't need that extra anxiety, trust me. Always aim to get there half an hour earlier. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.